Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, wow, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box, Aquarius. Uh, that way... You go to my Etsy shop where you're supposed to go as there are many tarot card scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right. So your overall energy Aquarius is the five of swords. You have the Page of Wands, the Moonscape Messenger. You have the Seven of Swords, the Thief in the Knights. You have the Four of Wands, the Beaming Vessel, and the Three of Cups, the Trinity Triangle. Mm. I feel like, Aquarius, you've been battling something. This could be yourself battling your ego. This could be people around you. It's also my Frenemies card. We're going to clarify I feel as if you're walking away from this battle. I do feel you have to be careful of somebody around you with the Seven of Swords. Some of you could be reuniting with somebody from the past. And I feel that this person is going to contact you. Hmm. So somebody may try to be stopping this reunion. That's what I'm feeling here. That could be the Five of Swords as well. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Alright. We have the Hierophant, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody may be trying to, or people may be trying to stop a reunion from coming back together here. They don't want this commitment to happen. So they're placing burdens upon you to, to keep you down so you don't move forward. They may intuitively know this person is somehow sweeping back into your life. Wow. So this person is coming to sweep you off your feet. They do not want this. And I do feel it's more than one person here. Sudden wealth. Wow. There's a lot of luck attached to this union. When I say luck, we make our own luck. But our energy is huge and I feel the combination of energies coming together here if you come if you choose to come together with this person is very magnetic so there's a lot of positive things that are attracted to you or will be attracted to you tell me about this message with this page of wands yeah, this person could be at a distance, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Devil Energy. It could be a Capricorn. This is a strong soul tie. This could have been a toxic relationship, but very passionate, very, they're saying solid, solid. I feel there was a codependency about this toxic relationship that can be healed there are guards that are being put up on both ends with the seven of wands here but there's a lot of passion as well with the eight of wands 
torch it. Yep, they're coming to sweep you off your feet. Aquarius. All right. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What is this? So. Yep. So we have, yes, we have karmic release. So it's a karmic. Okay, don't get it twisted. Aquarius, the Seven of Swords sneaky sneakiness is our karmics. So it's multiple people trying to confuse you, to keep you stuck. And that's going to be different for everybody as to how they do it. It's family. Wow. All right, so tell me about this Four of Wands. This could be a twin flame that you're dealing with, which makes sense. People trying to keep you apart, Aquarius. Definitely. Four of Cups, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and King of Swords. They're trying to stop communication. That's what I'm getting with the King of Swords. They're trying to stop communication. They're trying to divert your attention here with the Four of Cups so you're not seeing this courtship get anywhere. They don't even want you to see a message, but you're going to see it. Spirit's going to make sure that you're going to see it. So try as they might, you know, where there's a will, there's spirit, unexpected income. This may help you in some way, this unexpected income, help you bring this together. If this is at a distance, maybe it's, it's money for a plane ticket, something like that. So let me see, what is this three of cups here? We have the Six of Pentacles, El Sage, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so this may have ended because of a third-party situation in the past. Somebody that was juggling. And this needs to be purified if this is going to be a healthy relationship moving forward. And I feel there is joy to be found here, but there is also uh, needs to be communication that's injected into this union on a very serious level here. Wealthy men, a lot of money here. One of you may be wealthy, may be getting wealthy. Expectation, yes, yeah, somebody's waiting. I feel like on both parts, there is an expectation of communication about this, about what happened. And I do feel that is a good thing. Somebody's taking a journey. This is definitely somebody from the distance here. But they're coming to sweep you off your feet. Are you ready to be swept away? Aquarius. Well, your advice is the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Get out of your head listen to spirit because spirit has messages for you you've got to look within in order to listen and feel what spirit has for you this is a time of change they're saying this is a time of change this is a time to rise up mature man There could be an age di difference for some of you, but I feel more Aquarius. That's about you raising your vibration. Yeah. Go into hermit mode if need be, especially if you feel pressure from this nine, uh, sorry, from this five of swords energy from family that's around you that don't want this union to happen. All right. So advice start. You must start from where you are, examine your situation, and take a chance. So don't be afraid to take that leap of faith. Okay, Aquarius? 
I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box, Aquarius, if you are interested as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.